Well, new at six tonight, a life-saving adoption option for hard-to-place cats. It's called the Working Cat Program, and as John McDevitt of KYW News Radio reports, the program by the Pennsylvania SBCA is growing in popularity. Up there is Segway. Um, Segway sometimes will be caught purring when her favorites come around. Stacy Papadopoulos is the manager of animal care at the Pennsylvania SBCA. She started the working cat program about four years ago in a garage space. Since then, money has been raised to build outdoor, indoor, transitional sheds. Papadopoulos says that the sheds are what makes this program special. So the transition sheds allow cats who maybe have only been in people's homes and are not social enough to go back into someone's home as a traditional adoption. Um, it gives them the space to transition into an outside life so that eventually we can place them on a farm um, or an outside space where they can be successful. She says most of the cats in the program have been brought to the shelter by humane law enforcement officers. The animals have been rescued from hoarding situations Situations, basically living wild indoors and not used to interacting with people. When the cats arrive at the no-kill shelter, their personalities are assessed. If their social level is low, they could be a candidate for the working cat program and marked with a red tag. They could be on a farm or in a warehouse being looked after by a caretaker and the cats potentially taking care of any rodent problems. This is Grouchy, and experts say there's no determination if he will actually be a mouser, but his sheer presence could be a deterrent to mice. The cats in the transition sheds have been acclimated and ready to start their new lives as working cats. John McDevitt, KYW News Radio for CBS3 Eyewitness News. Those look like some mousers there. Yeah. They do. Bring Grouchy on. I that, know. If we didn't have five <laughs> cats already, all rescues, I'd be right there. Nice. Wow, Grouchy. <laughs>